Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Project Zomboid version 35.9. And in this Let's Play episode, we have now encountered the helicopter, the dreaded helicopter of the first two weeks of the game. This helicopter is going to follow us everywhere we, everywhere we go, and no matter if we're inside, outside, no matter. It's going to follow us, and it's going to draw every zombie to our location. Now... Starting off, we're exerted from doing some of the barricading work, and we're heavily burdened by the planks that I have. So let's go ahead and drop these on the ground. You can't hear the helicopter right now, because I actually stopped it just as soon as the helicopter actually started its sound bite. But you'll hear it in just a moment. Yep, here it comes. Alright, I'm just going to rest. It's going from left to right to left to right, and it's going to draw it every zombie on the map to us so the best thing we can do is we need to draw the zombies to an area that's not where we want to loot all right so here we go let's eat some food and then get out of here hopefully not a lot of zombies came are already here can't talk <laughs> blah blah <laughs> all right let's get rid of the sheep let's go let's see what this looks like oh my god it's so loud Alright, no zombies are here. All the zombies are kind of heading in this general direction. Let's do some sprinting for the first time ever with this character. She's not really sprinting all that much faster than walking, so I'm just gonna walk. So we're gonna try this crazy idea of walking through the forest to the east and uh, hopefully get to the railroad tracks in hopes that this, this helicopter will continue to follow us and draw more and more zombies to the east side of this map, where the forest is. Wow, these uh, these larger trees are really nice for walking through the forest. Because now you can actually walk through the forest. Before, it was just like every inch of land was taken up by these small, these small little trees. Now these big ones, you can easily walk through it. Well, a lot easier. I mean, not super easy. So after the helicopter comes by, a uh, an airplane will fly on by, which sounds like a like a World War One Red Baron plane. Here it comes. It's gonna keep moving until we see the uh, the railroad tracks, and then kind of circle around. This is very very dangerous to do. We have no idea if there's going to be any zombies like right right in here, but let's just try to keep walking in the open as much as we can. Alright, so it sounds like the helicopter's gone. I don't know if we really got far enough to really make a difference. What we're going to do is we're going to circle around, and then we're going to head to the, the warehouse in hopes that maybe there's something there we can pick up. Hopefully a sledgehammer, some nails. That'd be really great to get us started here. Alright. Let's see if we can find that railroad track. Keep on trucking. This is not the safest thing to do without like a like a tent or a, something to keep you going at night, like or like a campfire kit. All right, let's start heading this way. But if there are zombies following. If there were zombies following that helicopter, then a lot of them are going to get stuck in these trees. Okay, cool. So we're at the railroad tracks now. So let's circle back around. That way, if there's any zombies, we'll see them on our way back. I'm not sure we made a difference. I would normally either see or hear zombies at this point. They make their way east. All right, when this thing curves to the right, we'll go ahead and just strike west and get, go back into town. Maybe we can check the dent, the, the doctor's office. I don't know why I just, I want the dentist's office. So, or the, I'm going to call the doctor's office. I want that doctor's office so bad. It's like the best looking like apartment in this, in this whole area, this whole town. And then you get some really cool ones up north in Knox County. All right, so we've uh, done our due diligence. And uh, 
hopefully drag some zombies east. I'm not... Okay, we're starting to hear some now. This is really a bad place to be fighting zombies in. Oh my. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, we're back in the town now. Can't see. Alright, there we go. Alright, yeah, see, we, we kind of dragged a couple to the east, and you can see they're kind of wandering towards the northeast side. I think this is actually where the, um, the doctor's office is, and it's still crowded with zombies. I don't know if we made a difference with that little jaunt into the, uh, into the forest. I wonder if, like, uh, restarting the game during that sound... The sound bites that was going off either like made it ineffectual or I don't know. It's a big pack right there. Let's kind of saunter next to it. Yeah, so let's let's bail on the doctor's office. Oh, there's another big pack right there. Let's just start walking. We're going to head to the, the warehouses. And hopefully we'll find some good stuff. And hopefully we might have pulled some zombies from that area. Because those, those areas are normally chalk filled with zombies. But from the looks of it, it doesn't look like what we had in mind actually did anything. Unless there were no zombies there and they just moved from further west. I don't know. Yeah, normally the helicopter is like a super game changer. Maybe, yeah, maybe I might have screwed it up by uh, stopping the game right when the sound went off. That's unfortunate. I love how it kind of mixes the whole map up and just kind of just adds tons and tons of uh, zombies to the map. All right, take that guy out and keep walking. Here's the church here. So relatively close to the storage container yard and and the warehouses. Oop. I was like, I don't don't think there's anything there, but I still can't see. Oh man. Let's keep on going. Keep on going south. Oh man, there's tons of zombies here. As long as we don't fight, we probably won't pull the whole pack. All right, there's the, the small homes, and there's another pack up there. Just keep going this way. Oh, I got a small pack right here. Let's go ahead and stealth up. I'm going to pull whoever's looking at us. Our sneaking is still not great. And they were all looking at me. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's just keep walking. We'll lose them faster if we walk away. I still can't believe that my sprint is just as fast as me walking. That's pretty funny. I guess that's what you get with OBs. All right, so there's the storage yard. Let's see if uh, there are any zombies there. Because normally there's like a ton of them just sitting out in the open like this. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Let's check that box. We're really lucky with boxes in this in this run. Let's see, just get like, here, here, here's a mercy axe or nothing at all or nothing. All right. So here is the trailer park area, which is just east of the, the warehouses. Got a little pack over there. Let's go around. Well, altogether, this, this area is really sparse. So maybe we did something. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I really wish there was like a like an app that you could you could run to see exactly where all the zombies went based off of what you did in the game or what the NPC noises did in the game. But so far so good. I won't I won't declare it until we're right in front of the warehouse though. There could be like a a ton of them right there. Just a couple just hanging out right there. Man, what a difference light-footed and nimble does your ability to stealth around. Okay, we got a pretty sizable group. 
Not too bad. Oh, one shot, one kill. We're getting there. Yeah, around level six or seven of one of the weapon skills, you'll start doing a lot more of that. All right, let's see if we can pull off just a couple. And take these zombies down. Hopefully they don't knock down that door. Because we do want to make that a safe house. And I don't, I don't want to have to build a door to make it safe. All right, so far so good. Get some skill. All right, I called all of them. Oh, fast shamblers. This green guy get no, oh, I was close. Let's see, they get me? Nope. All right, let's take these two out by themselves here. Wow, she's speeding up. Oh, we got some more on the road there. Mate, I kick. Ah, we're gonna, we're gonna switch to the axe. Looks like we got about forty-five percent left of the axe. Yeah, we definitely need the axe right now. Oh, double one kill, one hit kill. Oh, so good. So good. All right. That's that's that. Any keys? Nope. No keys. Wedding ring. Nothing. Nothing on these corpses at all. Ah, okay. Let's keep pushing. All right. I wonder if is there a window out? Nope. All the windows are intact. Come on, you got a key to this place, don't you? Yes, you do. Come on, give me that key. Give me a key. I don't want to bust any windows. Nothing. All right. Let's break. That window broken? No. Oh, we got someone in there. We can't open this. It makes the motion. I don't think you can open it, though. All right, let's just let you in, let you out. Smash the window. Get an alarm? No alarm yet. I don't know. I don't know if you actually have to walk in for the alarm to go off, or you just break the window to see if the alarm goes off. Sounds like there's a lot more over here. Oh, it's getting late. We don't have time for this. I don't want to use the axe more than I have to. Please die. That's probably what I'll have to do is is just um, stomp on them after I've knocked them over. It's probably the smarter thing to do and conserve your axes. Uh, there we go. All right, doors are open. Let's see if we can find anything in here. You know what we should do first, though, is let's let's go ahead and because there's a chair in the other one, as well as upstairs area. So let's um now that we have that unlocked, any sound that we made hopefully will draw some zombies over in that area. Well, let's go take this one first and uh, and then rest for the night. That would be a lot safer. Come on, let's open a window. Get that window open. Come on, lady. Come on, Helen Cook. You can do it. Open that window. Open that window, Helen Cook. I will you to open that window. All right. I uh, just like JFK over there for a second. I don't know what that's all about. You will open that window. <clears throat> oh, yes. Here we go. Alarm. Nope. No alarm and no zombies. All right, cool. Let's loot and then uh, rest for the night. And then listen very carefully to see if whether or not uh, we have some zombies on us. So what you want to look for in a uh, warehouse are these empty sandbags, a shovel if you don't already have one, sledgehammers, and then, of, of course, axes. Lighters are good, too. 
Got some nails, got a hammer. Let's see what we got over here. Any, anything? Anything? Nope, nothing there. Nothing there. And we got a crowbar, coal. You also can find shotgun shells, shotguns, oh, there we go, <laughs> call it. Uh, as well as, um, you know, seeds. It's the other thing I, 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 yep. Good Lord. All right, I'm going to say it. You find axes here too. Axes? No, I guess that didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work for things that don't matter. All right. Man, there's like nothing in these boxes. Very little. Another sandbag, that's good. We got two of them now. We already have a shovel, so that's good. A wiggly wiggly. Oh, okay. That's enough. That's enough for one, I think. All right. Let's see if there's anything in here. We got a radish. A single radish. Let's eat it. Oh, we still have our stir fry. Let's finish off that thing. Get us some much needed dinner. All right. Oop, hit the microphone and start with that. All right. I don't think, uh, and we already checked these. There's nothing in them at all. All right, so I, I didn't hear any zombies our whole our whole time looting. So I think we may just be able to just sleep. We don't have to barricade right now at all. All right, so let's uh, see what we got here. Still don't hear any zombies. Let's go ahead and read uh, Metalworking for Beginners until 11 o'clock at night. Let's do that. This will allow us to listen for zombies and see if we have to barricade. Looks like it's raining outside, which is nice. All right, let's go and sleep. Yes. Yes, I would like to sleep. So I, I don't know if whether or not what I did actually helped or not. I mean, I didn't see any zombie swarms or anything, but there were little packs here and there. All right, so we made it. So let's see, I have one sheet on me. Let's just throw it on the ground. I don't need that. Let's make some sheet rope out of the clothing of the folks that we killed off over here. These waterlogged zombies. Craft sheet, craft sheet rope. I'll put a sheet rope up. And then I will we'll go search the other warehouse for anything that we need. And then what I'll do off camera is I'll barricade this up so that we now have a fourth safe house. But I'd really like to find a sledgehammer. Come on, sledgehammer. Give me a sledgehammer in this other building. I would really like a sledgehammer. Because sledgehammers allow you to do all the crazy building stuff as well as uh, basically jumping into a two-story house and making it instantly safe for you by taking out the stairs. I mean, that's really all you need to do. You don't even need to put barricades up. I mean, it's always good because you don't have zombies below you. So that's always a weird feeling. But um, if you didn't want to spend a lot of time getting a safe house all up and ready, all you have to do is knock down the, the stairs. That's it. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, nothing much in there. Hammer, propane torch. I think I already have one, but I'll take another. I don't know if they wear out or something. It'd be really nice to find the like the welding mask. Apparently, you need to have a welding mask on to do um, to do so stuff with the metal metal working. Don't need a premium ham radio. All right, all right. So here we go. Looking for boxes of nails and sledgehammers. Come on, game. Come on, loot table. Be kind to us. Yes, a box of nails. Perfect. Thank you, game. We love you very much. How about a sledgehammer? Come on, sledgehammer? Sledgehammer? Yeah, no? Yes, no? Maybe so? How about a sledgehammer? Oh, duct tape's good. More nails. Praise the sun. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, twine. Okay. Oh, another wood glue. That's good. Is that two of them? All right, cool. So we have three of them. It looks like they're all the same uh, same amount left. So I'm guessing that's like one, uh, one and a half repairs. 
which is not bad. Just like finding, just like finding a, a, an axe in the ground. I don't mind. Got a golf club. Now oh, a needle's good. I need a needle. Oh, wood glue. Yes, full wood glue. Very good, very good. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you, praise Gabe. Praise the Gabe. All right, okay, electric wire. Don't need batteries just yet. I got enough hammers. Some more nails. Thread and twine and no sledgehammer. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's see. We can get a, uh, a trash bag. No, no, that would be too. That'd be too easy. Thanks, game. Well, we appreciate we appreciate the nails and all the other stuff you gave us. Now, the other thing that we're missing is a screwdriver, which is unfortunate that we didn't get one here because this is kind of where I normally get mine. So it looks like we're going to have to spend some time in the next episode checking out the uh, strip mall, which I think has a hardware store there. Ooh, let's make some steak. Let's end this episode with some steak. Nothing like microwave steak to uh, finish off an off uh, an episode. All right, folks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cook the steak. I'm going to eat it. And then I'm going to go ahead and barricade up the, uh, the warehouse to the north. And uh, then we'll reconvene where we will then head on over to the strip mall, uh, which is against the main road. So it could be pretty dangerous, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to find a sledgehammer, maybe some more boxes of nails, uh, and uh, we'll proceed from there. All right, folks, so this is Johnny O'Nose playing Project Zomboid version 35.9. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, folks, and I'll see you in the next episode.